Hey everyone, Rob here with an afternoon update on the situation and earthquakes that have been going on over the past around 12 hours or so in the Fagrafat area. Now, I just want to do a quick update. This is going to just take a minute to see where we are. I did a video earlier today that sort of went into this in a little bit more detail, but we're just going to look at what's been going on in the past uh, couple hours. So we do have comments from a geoscientist, which was posted from the meteorological office uh, here in Iceland and they were saying that you know there's a total of over 1400 earthquakes that have been detected so far and the largest quake was 4.9 magnitude and that occurred at 9 23 this morning and it was felt all around the capital capital area now it hasn't been as strong as some of the other earthquakes before Fagos felt actually erupted so we didn't have a lot of shaking that I felt yet uh, but I do anticipate if this continues that I'm going to feel it more and more here in Reykjavik. But all of these earthquakes have started uh, over the past couple of hours or past 12 to 24 hours. If we take a look at the table, we can see here at the bottom exactly what's going on. There's a huge amount of activity and a lot of them are going pretty high. You can see this one that's almost hitting five on the chart. And uh, that's pretty strong. I'm very surprised it didn't shake the, uh, the place where I'm at more than it did. If we jump over to the table, and let me just switch back to Icelandic so I can actually do that. Uh, and we take a look at, yeah, let's just go three or more. We can see, let me switch this back to English for everyone. We can see here um, the earthquakes that have occurred very recently that have been over a magnitude of three. We can see there's a lot of them in the fours and definitely a lot of them in the threes. And a lot of these, as you can see, are coming from Vakospel. Uh, and the Kelu area. So definitely something to take note of. We have seen this before, and that was before it actually erupted previously. So uh, definitely something that we are keeping a close eye on. Uh, and if we take a look at, and go here, we see all of the earthquakes uh, over the past 48 hours. It says it's 463, but it's actually quite a, a bit more than that. Uh, I'm not sure. I think some, some data is missing, as you can see uh, on the chart below, based on the, uh, the one that I, I showed earlier. There was a, a lot more. So aside from this, like I said earlier, the status, the aviation color code for the volcanoes in Iceland, the one at Fagrufeld has been upgraded to orange, and that is a heightened alert level. That's saying something's unusual going on. All of these earthquakes are definitely unusual and uh, it is the only volcanic system in Iceland that's currently at this heightened level. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just sort of a, a typical thing that they do when there's uncertainty to prepare everyone for possibly raising it even higher and stopping flights uh, temporarily if it should erupt, which uh, we don't know. The other thing that's happened recently is the uh, National Commissioner of Police have issued an uncertainty level due to the earthquakes at Fagrasfeld, and it's definitely something that we all expected to happen. Uh, they did this this morning at 11.39 a.m., as you can see here, and it's, again, all based around the earthquakes and the potential that this could trigger another eruption uh, in, the, in the same area. So we will see, as I said, interesting, and there's a lot going on, so we'll... Uh, Keep an eye on this and see what goes on. So until next time, I do have a live stream going of the tremor chart. If you want to take a look at that, I'll put a link at the end of this video. And then uh, I'll put a link to the previous video to this if you want even more information. But uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to keep updated, be sure to subscribe and like and do all the regular stuff that you do on YouTube. So until next time, thank you so much.